Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlada's Place. This video is for all of you youngsters who have never planted a fruit tree before. Since kids and I are adding five more fruit trees to our orchard, I thought this would be a perfect time to share with the rest of you how planting fruit trees is done. First step is to dig a deep hole. Next step is making the lining or a bed with the rich compost. Also make sure that you add some regular dirt and that you combine two well together because having just the compost alone can be harmful for the new plant. Next is adding water and making sure the mixture is very moist. Okay. Now that we have a nice bed for the tree roots, we're gonna set the tree in a hole and we're gonna continue to add a layer of compost and a layer of ordinary dirt. As you go through these steps, please don't forget to continue to add water. After each layer of compost and dirt, just pour another bucket of water to make sure that this mixture is well soaked through. Adding quality compost is important for many reasons. An obvious reason is for nourishment, but another reason is for keeping the soil around the plant soft and airy. As you add layers and you water them, next step is to make sure the soil is well compacted around the plant. This year, kids and I are planting five new trees. We're gonna experiment with uh, cherry trees. We have two different cherry trees, two new peach trees, and this time we're gonna grow plum as well. Once you have your plant nicely set in ground, next step is to build a safety rim around it. This part of our orchard is located on a slope, so it's very important that we have a, a rim around the fruit tree to keep the water in and all the nutrients and fertilizers that we might add later on. Now is a good time to add these wood shavings that trees came in. All right, and we're gonna give it a final bucket of water. It's very important that soil is nice and moist, especially the first couple of weeks. You wanna make sure the tree is nourished and that it has everything it needs to jumpstart its growth. We are on a fifth tree and Marco is just finishing up with a few more layers and a couple of more buckets of water. I trust you're going to enjoy immensely growing your own fruit tree. There's just something about planting a thing and watch it grow right in front of your eyes. It's simply magical. Growing fruit trees is good for your soul, for your mind and for your budget. And it can be good for your whole neighborhood. During the COVID scare in 2020, I believe the most of us realize how quickly our food supply can be affected with such emergencies. Teaching our youth to grow food wherever possible is simply essential. In case of local and national emergencies, our communities should be able to sustain themselves with food. In addition to that, Spending time with nature, growing your own food, it's something that humanity has done for centuries and centuries. It's a big part of us, and we should try not to disconnect ourselves from that. This unique relationship is deeply rooted in our beings. Through my charitable organization called Vlada Seeds of Life, I'm devoting rest of my life to reconnecting families and communities. Big part of that is introducing young families and children to growing and preparing their own food. I hope you'll take a moment to check us out. We've been working in an orchard for days and although we are tired, it feels so satisfying to look back at our front orchard and vineyard and to see it nicely trimmed and fertilized. Thank you all for watching and if you like this video, please give us thumbs up and subscribe. For more videos, follow us on Facebook, Instagram or simply check out our website. Thank you all and we'll see you soon.